Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man and Outdoor Antenna Reviews are back. Today I'm going to review the updated version of the Televis That Boss Long Range Mix. Unlike most antenna companies that seem to recycle the same designs over and over again, Televis has redesigned this antenna for TV frequencies in the United States. I'll explain everything they did a bit later in this video. With a more compact design compared to other large antennas, will this still be able to pack a punch? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. If my videos have helped you cut the cord with an antenna, you can show your support by clicking the thanks button in this video. This is a new feature YouTube just released. As a heads up, this review is sponsored by Televis. Televis is a very large antenna company based out of Spain that's been around since the 1950s, just like other well-respected companies like Channel Master and WineGuard. The company is vertically integrated, meaning that they handle everything, the design, manufacturing, testing, quality control, and distribution of their antennas without having to rely on an outside source. So there are many highlights I want to bring up about the Televis Long Range Mix. It has a very good build quality, specific with high-grade anodized aluminum, ABS plastic, injected Xamex clamps, and stainless steel hardware throughout. According to Televis, the That Boss Long Range Mix is one of the highest gain antennas on the market, for UHF frequencies and provides very competitive high VHF gain, all on a much smaller size than other antennas with market leading build quality and a built in state of the art preamplifier that automatically adjusts the gain as needed and filters out 5G interference. So, what makes this updated version of the long range mix different from the previous version? The triple boom UHF section has been completely redesigned for new repack frequencies in the United States. The elements are wider and use different spacing than the previous generation to make the antenna gain peak inside the current band. Televis also doubled the size of the VHF corner reflector, increasing the native gain of the high VHF section by over 3 dB. This is actually more than double the power. In fact, the spectrum analyzer chart shows the better performance of both bands compared to the previous long range mix version. Televis did not stop there. The built-in preamp has been totally redesigned. Not only does it filter out a lower frequency to avoid 5G interference, but it is also basically two preamps in one. VHF and UHF bands are regulated independently as needed instead of together, which allows it to better balance signals and improves quality as the preamp will amplify VHF and UHF independently by the right amounts to avoid overload, so more amplification can be added to each band independently as needed. The preamp is built directly into the active element on the antenna, amplifying the gain at the source. This truly is the optimal way to do this. Signals captured by an antenna can be extremely weak, so they degrade quickly through the coax cable and connections. By placing the preamp right at the dipole element, television antennas are able to take advantage of every fraction of the signal available to the preamp. A very sturdy and reliable construction is needed to be able to add the amplifier right inside the antenna, which Televis is known for. One of the features I absolutely love about the built-in preamp is the powerless pass-through. What this means is if you unplug the preamp's power inserter or if it fails down the road, you will still have reception. Most external preamps on the market do not have this feature, which means you'd lose all reception if one were to fail down the road. The powerless pass-through feature is also very handy to see if you get better reception without the preamp plugged in. In some cases, a preamp will actually make reception worse. The option to see the results of the preamplifier on and off without having to go all the way up to the antenna to connect and disconnect a separate preamp is really cool. So how well does this antenna work? I tested it out in the same location as a bunch of other outdoor antennas to see how it performs. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. 
Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. The signal on KYW, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WCAU, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was a tiny bit lower on this antenna than the ellipse mix, but higher than the Weingart antenna. The signal on WPHL, which broadcasts on UHF channel 17, was higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WTXF, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31, was about the same on this antenna than the ellipse mix and higher than the Weingart antenna. The signal on WHYY, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was also about the same on this antenna as the ellipse mix, but higher than the Weingart antenna. This antenna was also able to pick up a trace of this very weak PBS signal on RF channel 23. Most antennas I tested out are not able to lock in this channel at all. So this is an absolutely excellent long range outdoor antenna. Unlike most other antenna companies, Televis actually took the time and spent money redesigning their best antenna to benefit over the air viewers in the United States. Some of you may watch my other antenna reviews, look at the signal levels, and see similarities with smaller antennas. I want to make it clear that the performance of an antenna shouldn't be based solely on the signal level from my tuner. It should be understood that if two different size antennas appear to perform similarly on a signal meter, the large one will be more reliable in changing atmospheric conditions. Specifically, there will be more headroom for when conditions worsen. Appropriate gain control and filtering can also have a huge impact on reception, which this antenna definitely has. I would highly recommend this antenna for anyone who lives in an area with very weak signals that are mostly on the UHF band. While this is a sponsored video, I have a lot of respect for Televis. They are one of the only antenna companies innovating antennas and other over-the-air products. The other companies seem to just outsource their production and reuse the same antenna designs over and over again from decades ago. While these old designs may still work in many areas, the fact remains that the UHF band has shrunk, requiring slightly larger antenna elements. Televis actually took this into account when redesigning this antenna. While this antenna will work very well for most of you, it isn't the solution for everyone. If you live in a rural area where there are some low VHF stations, you might need a different antenna. Televis has another variation of the same antenna model with low VHF capabilities that I will review in a future YouTube video of mine. If you're confused about what antenna to select in your area and all this information goes over your head, VHF, UHF, low VHF, I also offer antenna recommendations specific to your location on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your exact location, take a look at the frequencies, signal strength, and tree coverage to determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four different television markets. Antennas truly are not a one-size-fits-all model, and investing in an antenna recommendation from me can prevent you from wasting hundreds of dollars on antennas and other equipment not sued for your area. Whether you decide to purchase this antenna or another outdoor antenna model, Make sure it's properly grounded if installed outside to prevent static buildup, which can attract a lightning strike. I attached a video on how to ground an antenna in the description of this video. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. This is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. 
If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.